Hi guys, it's Saturday, April 27th. I'm just gonna do really short and sweet today because I've been at the pool all day because the weather is finally nice enough to go out and be in the sun and not get blown over by the wind. It was really windy for a while. But so what I wanted to talk about today was kind of another philosophy thing. I know I sort of did that last week or last time I vlogged with the political science stuff, but I'm also actually taking a philosophy class, not just a political philosophy class. And the other day we were talking about some of the ideas and we've been reading um, John Locke's book. And one of the things that our professor has been talking about and lecturing on and we've been reading is Locke's ideas of personal identity. Basically the gist of it is that Locke believes a person's identity is completely tied to their memories. If a person loses completely all memory, they're not the same person. One of the things that we used as an example of this was if you do a thought experiment where say you're a person and then there's like a genie or some sort of magical something or other um, that offers you the chance to become like Emperor of China be really rich, just super famous, have a great life, but you lose all memory of your past life. You don't remember anything else, you just think you're the Emperor of China. And then would you do it? Um, Locke's philosophy believes that you should not take that offer because you would essentially be killing your past self and just an emperor would be born and it doesn't really have anything to do with you because you wouldn't remember anything from before. Which makes sense to me. I mean, we took like a poll in the class before we really discussed it of who would take it and who wouldn't, and I said no, I wouldn't do that, because for obvious reasons, I like my memories. But so while we were talking about that, I started thinking about how this is kind of an idea that you see in a lot of TV shows and movies and books and stories where they play with the idea of personal identity and what it means to be human and a person. And one of the things that I really remembered was a episode of Doctor Who that I think was called The Living Flesh. I'm not positive about that. But what it was is that they were taking... It's like this plastic that totally imitates human bodies and creates a person. But the way they were doing it, it was also gaining all of the memories of the person that it was DNA matched to. And so... They had all the memories and all the emotions and all the feelings of that same person. And the Doctor Who episode kind of went on to explain that they basically are that person now too. There's no difference. Even if they didn't actually live it, it feels to them like they did. And that created a valid human being. So basically, that's all I had today. Just sort of some interesting stuff to think about and, you know, throwing in some nerdy Doctor Who stuff with it too. Because what's life without nerdy British television? Anyways, I hope everyone else is having good weather like I am and is doing well, and Claire, I will see you on Monday.